Welcome to Invest. Talk about investing, finance, a professional woman. It's the current time of 9.45 a.m. on the Eastern Time on September 6th on Tuesday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Long weekend for the ones in the U.S. And Ethereum country $1,659 up about close to 3% so far. While the overall market is also trying to rebound. Uh, obviously, there is a collection of different uh, macro catalysts and micro catalysts. Uh, for Ethereum specifically, it's basically just more news percolating around the merge that's expected to happen um, September 15th, which is basically approximately nine days from now. So we're not that far away from the, you know, the world events, if you may, right? But in between the, you know, from now and then and subsequent to that event, there are a lot of, it's going to be a lot of colorful, flavorful uh, events that will be driving the macro market up or down. Right. So uh, with respect to the, the closest one uh, that we should be expecting, um, not that has anything directly correlated to crypto, but it seems like with respect to Apple's, the big iPhone 14 event is expected to kick off on Wednesday. And knowing the fact that Apple is one of those companies with, you know, obviously trillion dollar market cap and they can drive the needle. Um, and also there is a lot of market influence as well, um, you know, driving the market to go up or down contingent on how they are conveying the buying or selling signal to the market is going to be quite important right in addition to that obviously we're going to hear more uh from the you know statistics from the feds specifically the cpi report and the ppi report laying on the 13th and 14th and then obviously the 15th is the merch right so i do foresee again based on the technical that we've been talking about so far some anticipatory pressure, um, you know, up until the merge and then kind of cool off from there, uh, which is very logical, right? Knowing the fact that we kind of have depleted uh, from the head and shoulder pattern so far already, and we are going to be reaching a level of resistance as we approach upward to the 59 out of 70. We are forming a golden cross right now, so it looks like some you know, short-term upswing but again, on the weeks out, right, we are quite bearish, right? We need to kind of normalize and cool down um, as we approach, you know, further out on the monthly, which we should ideally see some bullish pressure ahead, right? So how I see this are, you know, being, you know, formalized going forward is, um, you know, again, short term pump, maybe to 1750, max would be 18, 1850. Um, and then sell off as we approach closer to next week. CPI report, PPI report, obviously the merch, um, and then subsequent to that, FOMC meeting on the 21st, right? It durates from 20th to 21st, but, you know, um, obviously the catalyst will be, it depends on the anticipatory pressure and a contingent on the verbiage on, on how, which, which side of the needle is uh, Jerome trying to drive it up or down. So that's something we have to think about. Um, so that's pretty much on a high level technical and uh, as you guys saw from my uh, YouTube shorts that I posted earlier today, seems like someone in the um, US representative, um, someone named Carol, uh, has been quite active um, recently, specifically on Friday, uh, September 2nd. She did buy a, a large amount of stocks, so you know, feel free to check it out in our Patreon. And let me know if you have any questions. It's definitely good to be keeping your ears open or your eyes open. Um, and also with respect to ARK Invest and um, obviously BlackRock, which is the two uh, large asset managers that I'm also keeping track on a day-to-day -day basis. Seems like they've been quite active as well. Seems like they might know something that we don't know um, before all of this uh, whirlwind and storm that's expected to happen in September. So it's going to be an interesting um, couple of weeks, uh, you know, a couple of days ahead in September as well. So let me know um, if you have any questions in the meantime. And for those that are in, you know, in need of guidance or consultation, yeah, subscribe to our Patreon and I'm here to be supported. So appreciate you. Have a good day and uh, check out the next one. Take care.